In 1977, we launched a message in a bottle into the cosmic ocean. Now, 45 years later, and 14.5 billion miles away, that bottle is sending back signals we can't decipher. Voyager 1 is transmitting data that has left NASA scientists scratching their heads. The spacecraft's attitude control system is reporting information that doesn't match reality. Like a ship whose compass suddenly points south when traveling north, Voyager continues its journey through interstellar space, yet its status reports read like nonsense. What could be causing this cosmic miscommunication? This represents a scientific mystery unfolding in real time at the boundary between our solar influence and the greater galaxy beyond. The Cosmic Time Capsule Voyager's Remarkable 45-Year Journey What happens when humanity's farthest messenger begins speaking in tongues? The strange case of Voyager 1 challenges our understanding of deep space communication as this pioneering spacecraft continues its epic journey through the cosmos. Launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral aboard a Titan Centaur rocket, Voyager 1 has traveled further than any human-made object in history. Currently more than 14.5 billion miles from Earth and still going. Imagine engineering something in the 1970s expected to function for just five years yet somehow still operating after more than four decades. That's the remarkable story of Voyager 1, whose primary mission was to study Jupiter and Saturn before potentially continuing to Pluto. This spacecraft, roughly the size of a small car and weighing just 1,592 pounds at launch, has defied all expectations, continuing to transmit data from the vast emptiness beyond our solar system. The technology powering this cosmic marathon runner is primitive by today's standards. Voyager 1 operates with just 68 kilobytes of computer memory and processes data at 8,000 instructions per second, transmitting at a rate of 160 bits per second. Yet this vintage tech functions flawlessly in an environment where temperatures approach absolute zero and radiation levels would instantly fry modern electronics. Particularly fascinating is Voyager's digital tape recorder system, essentially a sophisticated version of the 8-track tapes popular in the 1970s. This magnetic storage has outlasted countless technological revolutions on Earth. From floppy disks to cloud storage, standing as a testament to the ingenuity of NASA engineers who built systems to withstand the test of cosmic time. As Voyager 1 approached Jupiter in 1979, it forever changed our understanding of the gas giant. The spacecraft captured stunning images of Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere, including the Earth-swallowing Great Red Spot, and discovered a previously invisible thin ring around Jupiter. The most significant revelation came when Voyager revealed that Jupiter's moon, Io, featured active volcanoes the first known volcanically active world beyond Earth. Scientists watched in amazement as Voyager captured plumes of sulfur rising 190 miles above Io's surface. When reaching Saturn in November 1980, Voyager 1 revealed rings far more complex than anyone had imagined. Intricate structures containing thousands of ringlets with mysterious spokes and braided patterns. The spacecraft discovered new moons and revealed Titan's thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, making it a prime target for future exploration. What began as a short-term planetary mission soon evolved into an epic voyage through time and space. The genius of Voyager's extended journey lies in its gravity assist maneuvers. Cosmic slingshots where it borrowed energy from each planet's gravitational field. After leaving Saturn, Voyager 1 was traveling at approximately 38,000 miles per hour relative to the Sun. As Voyager 1 left the planets behind, scientists reprogrammed its mission objectives to study the outer reaches of the Sun's influence and eventually the space between stars. The spacecraft carries the famous golden record, a time capsule of Earth sounds, images, 
and messages for any intelligent extraterrestrial life that might someday discover it. Voyager's longevity stems from brilliant engineering foresight. It features redundant systems, duplicate computers and communication equipment that activate in the event of primary system failure. Radiation hardening techniques protect its electronics and engineers have implemented strategic power management, shutting down non-essential instruments as its nuclear power source gradually weakens. When attitude control thrusters began to degrade after decades of use, engineers reactivated backup thrusters that had been unused since 1980, and they worked perfectly. Every command sent to Voyager requires meticulous planning, as signals now take nearly 22 hours to make the round trip at light speed. Crossing the cosmic threshold, Voyager's venture into interstellar space Standing at the threshold between the familiar warmth of our star and the cold mystery of deep space, Voyager 1 made history in 2012 by crossing a boundary scientists had theorized about for decades but never directly observed. This invisible frontier, known as the heliopause, marks where the protective bubble created by our sun, the heliosphere, ends and actual interstellar space begins like an explorer planting a flag on uncharted territory. Voyager became humanity's first interstellar traveler, venturing into a realm so distant that early estimates of its location varied wildly. The heliosphere surrounds our entire solar system like a protective cocoon, extending approximately 18 billion kilometers in all directions. Within this bubble, Charged particles from the solar wind dominate, flowing outward from the sun and shielding our planets from much of the galaxy's cosmic radiation. For decades, scientists could only speculate about where this shield might end and what might lie beyond. These scientific debates were particularly contentious in the early days of deep space exploration. Theoretical models placed the heliopause at dramatically different distances with some estimates as close as Jupiter's orbit. By 1993, astronomer Bill Gurney had refined these predictions, suggesting the boundary might lie between 116 and 177 astronomical units from the Sun. Our cosmic neighborhood was much larger than anyone had imagined, and Voyager would be the first to reveal its true dimensions. When Voyager 1 finally approached this mysterious frontier in 2012, its instruments detected something peculiar. The expected rise in plasma density occurred, a clear sign that the spacecraft was encountering the denser material of interstellar space. Yet puzzlingly, the magnetic field direction showed almost no change at all. This contradiction challenged theoretical models of how the solar wind should interact with the interstellar medium. The mystery deepened because of an unfortunate coincidence. The instrument designed to measure plasma temperature had been malfunctioning since the 1980s, limiting scientists' ability to characterize this boundary region fully. When your only explorer in uncharted territory has a partially broken compass, every observation becomes both precious and incomplete. Voyager 2's 2018 crossing provided the crucial comparative data needed to understand this cosmic frontier better, building upon Voyager 1's initial discoveries. Operating with its plasma instrument still functioning, Voyager 2 confirmed something remarkable. The boundary between our solar system and interstellar space is not the clean line depicted in textbooks, but rather a complex zone of interaction. Particles from both regions mix and spill across the boundary, creating a stream of low-energy particles extending 160 million kilometers into the heliopause. Even more surprising were the conditions beyond the boundary. The interstellar magnetic field proved significantly stronger than anticipated, similar to discovering hurricane force winds where gentle breezes were expected. The plasma was much hotter than predicted, comparable to finding desert temperatures in what was thought to be a cold environment. 
These revelations forced astronomers to redraw their maps of our cosmic neighborhood. One striking discovery was the speed at which a spacecraft could transition between these vastly different cosmic environments. When Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause on November 5, 2018, the transition took less than a day. A cosmic blink of an eye considering the 11 billion mile journey that preceded it. In that brief span, the spacecraft moved from the solar wind into interstellar space. Like stepping from one room to another through a doorway, scientists once thought might be a gradual corridor. As Voyager continues its journey, scientists wonder what other surprises might await in the true interstellar medium, and how unexpected phenomena could affect the spacecraft's aging systems as it ventures deeper into the unknown. The Cosmic Whispers Decoding Voyager's Mysterious Messages The theoretical threats to Voyager's journey have transformed into a tangible mystery. What would you make of a message from the farthest human-made object in existence that simultaneously makes perfect sense and no sense at all? NASA engineers now face this exact puzzle as Voyager 1 sends back seemingly impossible data about its condition, while otherwise performing flawlessly a contradiction that challenges everything we understand about communicating across the vast cosmic void. Communication with Voyager 1 depends entirely on the Deep Space Network, a global system of massive radio antennas strategically positioned across three continents. Like giant ears listening across Earth, these colossal structures in California, Spain, and Australia capture whispers from the edge of known space. Some reach 70 meters in diameter, functioning as cosmic megaphones tuned to the faintest signals imaginable. Behind the current mystery lies a system called the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which serves as Voyager's internal compass and positioning system. Its primary purpose is critical, ensuring the high-gain antenna remains precisely aimed at Earth to maintain our tenuous connection. Without this perfect alignment, Voyager's whispers would echo into the void, never reaching home. Yet here lies the paradox that has NASA scientists scratching their heads. While the AACS reports nonsensical orientation data that suggests the antenna should be pointing in completely wrong directions, the signal strength remains strong, confirming the antenna is correctly positioned. It's like receiving an obvious phone call from someone claiming they're standing upside down underwater. An impossible contradiction that defies explanation. These signals, mere 20-watt transmissions dimmer than your refrigerator light, travel 14.5 billion miles before reaching Earth. Each communication takes a staggering 20 hours to travel in a single direction, creating a 41-hour round-trip delay that complicates every troubleshooting attempt. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission, explained Suzanne Dodd, the Voyager project manager at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The team's dedication remains unwavering despite these challenges. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. She added that Voyager 1 is now exploring a high-radiation environment that no spacecraft has previously flown through. The investigation has yielded surprising insights. Engineers initially suspected a faulty command from another onboard component. But deeper analysis revealed that approximately 3% of the memory within the flight data subsystem was defective. This fragile system, which packages data before transmission to Earth, may contain a single malfunctioning chip, highlighting the precariousness of maintaining decades-old technology across interstellar distances. Engineers are exploring potential solutions, including software parameter changes or utilizing backup hardware systems. Each solution requires immense patience as commands travel across the solar system and beyond. What's truly at stake extends beyond the technical challenge. Voyager 1 is humanity's only source of direct data from interstellar space. Measuring plasma, 
magnetic fields, and cosmic rays from beyond our solar bubble. Each day of continued operation represents irreplaceable scientific knowledge from a region no other spacecraft can reach for decades. Perhaps most puzzling is that despite the garbled status information, Voyager hasn't entered safe mode. A protective state that would limit operations to essential functions. This suggests the core systems remain operational, despite the communications anomaly creating a scientific contradiction that defies simple explanation. A paradox playing out across interstellar distances. As Voyager 1 signals continue their 21-hour journey across the cosmic void, we are witnessing humanity's greatest exploratory endeavor unfold in real time. The mysterious transmissions represent science at its most authentic. A process of questioning, investigation, and adaptation in the face of profound unknowns. NASA's upcoming interstellar mapping and acceleration probe will build upon the pioneering work of Voyager. Even as communication may eventually fade, the golden record ensures Voyager's legacy, carrying humanity's aspirations into infinite darkness like a beacon of our existence. What mysteries do you think await beyond our solar system's edge? Voyager continues to whisper back, embodying our relentless curiosity about the unknown. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.